Um, <laughs> I have pink hair. <laughs> Hi, my name's Lily. And I'm McCready. And we go to the Claremont Colleges. Both of us were able to visit the Claremont mm -hmm. Colleges before um, we decided to go there, and we know that that option is not available to right. many of you right now. So we kind of wanted to make this video for like admitted students who are thinking about going. And I'm a sophomore at Claremont McKenna. Yeah, and I'm a, I'm a freshman at Scripps. So you kind of have that like, someone who's been on campus before, they know the deal, oh, and someone who, has visited, but is mostly doing Zoom University online. So I chose to come to Scripps on a personal note. I applied last year, because I'm a freshman. I applied last year, and what really sold it to me was the campus, which is like, and part of it for me was also the fact that it's a women's college. Although, meh, it kinda is. It's halfway. It's halfway, it's half women's college. I chose to go to Claremont McKenna because I visited and then I was like, I, I like it here. It's so awesome. And that's it. I, I just like the vibes. <laughs> you just gotta vibe it out. I felt the vibes and I was like, these are, these it's are the vibes. It's all about the vibes. It's, yeah, it's all about the vibes. Yeah. If a Scorpio and a Cancer yeah. can both agree that it's a vibe. It's, it's a vibe. <laughs> it's a vibe. Oh no. Uh, the first question was, what advice would you give to incoming 5C students? So, um, Samroth says, Don't go. Ren says, get off campus. Um, I think this is a very good piece of advice. I think um, when you're choosing what college to go to, you usually only look at the campus, but definitely look at what's around because there is a lot around and there's lots to do and lots to enjoy. The next one from Yesenia is actually read your emails. There's a lot, but they have a ton of opportunities. This is also very true. They always send out, you know, information about internships, jobs, etc. So definitely make sure to take advantage of that. Kate says, take the time to enjoy the little things because time goes by unbelievably fast. Maybe not this year. But <laughs> Phil says, join lots of clubs and explore the other schools within the five C's. I I think people don't really understand if they haven't been to the school what the consortium really is it's like going to one big school yeah then i asked on my social media and i got some answers too for the women's college element and i kind of already brought this up a lot of people were talking about how it's a women's college but it's not because you're so close to these other schools really the only part that's no men is the dorms and then there's still guys in the dorms all the time. Anyway, my point is, is that you have the alumni network of Scripps, you have the alumni network of the Claremont Colleges, and you have the alumni network of anyone else who's ever gone to a women's college. Say someone went to Barnard, and you went to Scripps, they know you because all the women's colleges know each other. So I thought that was cool. Tali said that the syllabus has homework on it and the teacher will never tell you to do the homework. Ella says, you don't need to do the full reading for every class if you're skilled enough. I very much agree with that. <laughs> if you can do the full reading, I would recommend it. You know, yeah. it's good too. It's good to read it, but it's also good to like really understand it. Yeah. But you can also just like get good at skimming. Don't don't be one of those people that doesn't read. Oh, I agree. But you should do your reading. But you shouldn't be losing sleep over it. No, 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 no. Okay. Lauren says, have an open mind and get ready to step out of your comfort zone. Thanks, Lauren. <laughs> Neva says, don't be afraid to advocate for yourself. I think that's true. I think that's true too. Office hours. Um, you know, office hours, but also other things. If you, you know, have conflicts with other people or... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's your RAs um, and then there's, you know, obviously like staff and faculty and mm -hmm. they care about you and they want to help you. Okay, so the next question we asked was, what do you wish you had known before attending the five C's. We got some good responses. Julia said, you can never have too many friends. Don't limit yourself and always be working on meeting new people. As an introvert, I think it's really easy to make friends and I've had success. That's good to hear. As a very introvert. I'm very, I'm very extroverted. She's very extrovert and she's also made friends. Yeah, I have. Even online. Destiny says, 
it's okay to not know what you're doing sometimes. Yes. I don't know what I'm doing at all times. I never know what I'm doing. You're going to find exactly what you need at the Claremont Colleges, mm-hmm. even if it's not offered at your school specifically. That's a great point, because I'm taking languages that aren't even offered at Scripps, because I wanted to take them. Yeah. And there's tons of stuff like that. Yeah. Actually, that really, that was great. Katie totally agrees with us. There are so many resources to choose from, and everyone is so welcoming. Lauren, you won't enjoy the experience unless you throw yourself in 150%. I think that's that's true. That's true. Um, that's especially, true especially in person. Just like don't be afraid to be vulnerable mm-hmm. because everyone's being vulnerable and it's okay. People really like how close you get with the professors because of how small it is. I agree with this and don't like go, don't be afraid to just talk to your professors. Like go to office hours. The thing with professors, especially at the five C's, are they they really love what they do they want to teach they want to teach it, i mean they're passionate about what they do but also they're there as professors who want to teach people to love what they love yeah so definitely don't be afraid to like talk to your professors i've you know had so many amazing conversations with my professors serena was talking about affinity groups mm, yeah and the communities that affinity groups provide which I haven't really got to experience so much. Yeah, I I can definitely say that affinity groups, you know, even from the ones I'm not in and from the ones I am in, like, they definitely are really important in the institution. They provide a lot of support. Like, it is a predominantly white institution, but you you don't have to, like, go through that alone. And people like that there's not competition. Oh, yeah, it's a very collaborative environment and not a competitive environment, which I love. People are very kind and people want you to succeed. And also, if you come here, you should want other people to succeed as well. Yeah. Like everyone does. Yeah. My number one thing <laughs> that I wish I knew, but I wouldn't be able to know because I needed to experience it to know, Aww. is that this institution has, like, in my opinion, the best education in the world. I oh my love going to school here so much. Of course, college is hard. College <laughs> it's, is stressful. It's really hard. You don't want to do it. It's hard. But it, it's so rewarding and fulfilling. And also, there are going to be difficult times, but I think you will genuinely meet people who will help you get through it. And that's coming from someone who... First I, year. I had a rough first year, and in high school, I did not get along with many people. <laughs> Specifically to the Claremont Colleges, if you're really deciding between one other, maybe other liberal arts school or another state school and the Claremont Colleges, there is nothing like the Claremont Colleges in the world. No. Nothing. Nothing. It's totally different. I have a question, Creedy. Okay. What about parties? Um, <laughs> they are fun. And there's something fun for everyone, Mm -hmm. you know, ranging from party to like, you know, playing cards, doing crafts, and that's still a party. (laughs) That's still a party. So there's something for everyone. And Mm -hmm. I'm not saying that like, oh, there's something for everyone. It's just like five kids playing cards. Like (laughs) there's really something for everyone. But Akriti, what about the lack of frats and sororities? What about not having Greek life? Is there still social life on campus? There is so much social life. And I would argue that because we don't have Greek life, it is so much more inclusive. You won't ever need to be invited to a party because the party is open to everyone. Mm -hmm. It's so much better and you'll still, you know, a lot of people are afraid that they won't be able to like network or make good friendships because there isn't Greek life, but you can. And this school, all the schools really really help you with that okay um, <laughs> thanks for watching thank you for watching let us know if you are a student that goes to the five c's comment if there's anything we left out yeah and if this gets 10 likes then <laughs> i will dye my hair green i won't <laughs> bye bye